A Mayfield woman gets a sticky surprise in the walls of her home. Take a look. A swarm of thousands and thousands of bees took up residence inside her residence. Sheree Honeycutt, no pun intended, went to Mayfield for the story. Bees. And a lot of them. Anywhere from 30 to 40,000 bees at least. I knew there was a nest in there. I just didn't realize how big. Debbie Travis had no clue. It was very, very loud. And when I pulled open the windows, there were just bees everywhere. And what makes it even worse? I happen to be allergic to them. I swell up like a balloon. And we had to cut a section of drywall out. And behind that, we found a five foot tall beehive that was three layers deep of, of honeycomb. When Travis saw the pictures, all she could think was run. Run. That's that's the only thing I could think is run. Burn the end of the house. Do whatever you have to do. Get the bees gone. <laughs> Seaver sucked the bees up and took them to a keeper so Travis can sleep a little easier. Death was over my head as I was sleeping every night. If I had moved the bed and hit the wall wrong, I could have busted the wall open. She had been asleep and they had fallen in. I mean, that could have been it for her. So what's going to happen to all that sweet honey? Yeah, I usually bring a little bit back to the, the homeowners. I don't want it. <laughs> Keeping a jar to look at and remind me, you know, keep an eye on my house. And if you're wondering how these bees got in the wall. It's just the right space and the right opening for them to be able to build a hive. Um, just like they would in a tree out in the wild or, or anywhere else. Seaver says all it takes is a new queen bee to get that hive going. And that queen could be out there waiting. However, Travis says she'll be watching her wall and hope and pray that they don't come back. In Mayfield, Sheree Honeycutt, Heartland News. Seaver says to get a hive that big, the bees were probably in the wall for the last four years.